Hello YouTube, my name is Isaiah Games and welcome back to this brand new video. In this video I am going to cover the basics on how to UV map Minecraft stuff in Autodesk Maya 2018 and above. So first of all, you'll have to go over to the poly modeling tab which you can find over here. And then let's create a cube. Since I'm going to make a torso, let's call it geo underscore torso. Now let's go down here and click the polycube one. If, by the way, if you don't have this channel box layer editor, uh, which is supposed to be somewhere over here, you can click this icon in the top right and it'll appear. A Minecraft torso has a pixel count of eight wide, 12 high, and four deep. Once you have this set up, you can hold your right mouse button on the object, like so. Go down to assign new material, click on Lambert or whatever material you want to use. You can also go to the Arnold tab and select an Arnold material. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a Lambert for now. Once you have this Lambert, let's call it Matt underscore torso or whatever you want to call it. And let's click and let's go down to color which is in the common material attributes tab. And click this checker box right next to the color node. This will pop up and make sure to click file. Once the file has been created, uh, make sure to put in text underscore uh, torso or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it torso for now, but you can call it whatever you want. And then go over to filter type and set it from quadratic to off. If you're going to use Arnold or any other type of rendering engine, make sure to go to its tab down here and turn the filter type from smart by cubic to closest which will make sure that the render will not uh, come out blurry or whatsoever. Now let's search for the file, which you can find by clicking on this icon over here. I already have a file prepared, which I made a long time ago. And then you will get this. So what you can do right now is you can go up to the workspace uh, text on the top right, where it says Maya Classic or whatever it says for you, and go down to the UV editing tab. It'll change the user interface a bit and it'll show you the UV modeling toolkit and stuff like that over here. So what I usually do is I select the skin or the, the object, sorry, and then I go over to here, click it, and you will see that all the faces have been separated. So what I usually do is over here, I hold down my right mouse button, go to UV, select everything, and then I just scale it down like so. If you're wondering why my background over here is bluish instead of normal, that is because you can actually select a background over here. In this case, it's this one over here. And usually when you start up um, the UV modeling toolkit, it won't look this sharp and you won't be able to snap the pixels. To fix that, you just go in here, set this from, uh, just check this over here, unfiltered image and make sure that this uh, mag magnet has been checked and then it'll actually snap the pixels to actual Minecraft pixels over here to the pixels of an image. So what you can do right now is you'll have to order everything where everything is supposed to be. So this is going to be the front, this is going to be the back. Just double click to actually select an object and it's full to fully select an object and then just drag it around. This is the right side and this is the left side. So what I usually do right now is I usually move everything till it's actually till it actually fits. These two have to be rotated 90 degrees. To do that, you'll have to go into the UV toolkit, then go to transform, and then you see this rotate over here, and then just rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Same goes for this one, rotate it 90 degrees to the right. And now let's just continue placing everything correctly over here. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not adding any subdivided stuff yet, that is because I'm going to show you how to do it in an easier fashion, which I would actually prefer over the slow way it's been done usually. So what you might notice over here, you see these uh, little pixels which actually go over to the other side or the other face of the object. We're going to reorder these and to do that you'll actually have to go back to the UV editor and then make sure to go to the top part in this case, double click it and then flip it horizontally and vertically. 
Okay, so basically select the back right now and flip it horizontally and vertically uh, as well. And the bottom one, you will have to only flip it on the U. So it'll actually go like that. Now you'll actually have this and we want it to be subdivided because we want to animate it. To do that, we can go over to the modeling tab over here, go into mesh tools, click on this box right next to insert edge loop. This will pop up and click multiple edge loops and set this to, I think 11. 11 is for vertical and you'll have to make sure it's seven for the horizontal and three for the sides. Here we go. Now we actually have a body which is usable for rigging. What some people like and what I prefer to do as well is to make sure that every pixel can be extruded without the sides looking glitchy or stuff like that. To do that, go to the UV editor, hold your right mouse button on the UV, drag it to UV and select everything Go to cut slash sew and click on split. What you'll have to do right now is hold your right mouse button again. Go to face. What you do right now is go over to the tool settings, which you can find over here, or if it doesn't show up, you can click it over here. And then make sure to click on step snap, the little triangle right next to it and turn it on. Since it's kind of glitchy for me, I actually have to reload it, okay and then scale to 0.5. So basically what you can do right now is you can select each of these and just rescale it and make it smaller. I will just speed up this process and show you how it'll look in the final result. Okay, so now this is actually finished. And if we go to Maya Classic again in the workspace, then we have ourselves a Minecraft torso mesh or geometry. So this can be used for rigging or anything you want to do with it. And I hope this was helpful for the people who needed this. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video. Goodbye.